Hi, this video is on what to do with leftover dried paint test by myself, Ruth Collis, where we will paint this 3D yellow flower out of leftovers. What I have here is a whole sheet of all of these little tests that were from the leaf tip. They didn't really turn out um, that great because, let's see, let me show you here. One of the leaf tips I used was squeezed together too hard here, and so that's what made it um, sliced in the middle like that. So I am going to use something that didn't turn out well and still make it turn out well. <laughs> because uh, I have found that it just still looks good, and this is my example of that. This one piece right here is kind of the worst of them all, and well, you know, all these still look pretty cool. And it's not a lot of paint wasted, but it's just fun to see what you can do with this. Show you what happens if you don't have this taped on the back. And what I do is is put some gel in here and if you don't it just really falls out on you yeah I use gel in the cracks here to seal it in I mean this is kind of a cheap painting it's a quickie it's um, a really neat way to make use of some unused paint So the leaves are going to stick in this, so it needs to be built up enough. So now I got the fun part of sticking these in, and here I'm being really anxious again. I just want to create so badly, and if if you can. Trim off some of those um, undesirables, little things sticking out, if you have any. So I'm going to look at that. With this extra impasto, you can really give these some lift. Now I want to try to use biggest ones I can. So, because these are so thin and flexible, I imagine that when this dries, they will all kind of lay down. So, if they're laid down to begin with, they'll really be flat. But if I give it some lift by letting it stick up like this, you know, let's see what happens. So this this could be a sun, even. You know, I started out thinking, oh, this would be a great sunflower. I don't know if I can fit this whole sheet onto here or not. So. Let's see what happens. Let's just keep adding and adding. So now I've made this whole circle and you put the leaf in between the two like that and just keep alternating. Let me try some tweezers. 
Oh, that works. Get in tight places. Alright, so here's our wonderful 3D flower. Wow. And all that we have left are a few little scraps. How cool is that? So now we get to put our little scraps in our paint scrap junkyard. That was kind of a tiny amount, but over time, as you don't use stuff, it really adds up. Look at all this stuff. It's all paint. So I'm not sure what I'll do with the center yet. Uh, I'm seeing how well you can stick a paintbrush in and lift some paint out. I don't know if you want to try that look. Leave the center open and bare or fill it. Fill it with a whole different color. Alright, let's let this dry and see what it looks like. Guess what? I left no room for my signature. <laughs> anyway. So, you gotta get creative. Perfect paper adhesive gloss. I have found this to be an excellent varnish. Yes, I varnish even the little ones. Varnish helps keep dirt and grease and grime off. It helps seal the painting. This particular one has uh, UV protection. Amazing. And it dries non-sticky. Very amazing. So I'm just going to finish up here. I go underneath the leaf and above. 